This is the Subhashitam of today. Anyone attempt, want to attempt reading this? How about Jayavani? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I was so, on mute. Oh, sorry. I just want to ask, what does Subhashita mean? Ah, so I wanted to ask the same question. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Subhashitam. Bhashitam means which is spoken. So is good. So is usually used for good, something good. So Subhashitam means uh, well said, good word. Like it's like good word. Good word, which is a quote. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, so uh, Vidya <coughs> Dadati Vinayam Vinayat Yati Patratam Patra Patratvat Danam Apnoti. This is an N, right? With the yes, yes. Apnoti. Mm. Because I always confuse the N and the R in this. Mm. Because the N has this little. Yeah, that very little. Uh, yes. Look is there. Yeah. Apnoti. Danat. Dharma. Tataha. Sukam. Mm. So. One approach uh, to studying is understanding the declension table, conjugation tables of the verbs and then knowing it. While we are doing that, the, we are going to look at, keep looking at these uh, sentences including this Subhashitam, the quotes, where uh, some of the w words or the forms of the words we may not have studied before, but they appear. But since we are look and we'll study the meanings of those words also, so you will get to know the words or the forms of the words and what they mean. So when we actually come to the study of that form later, so you already know that word. Uh, or the form of the word. So, in this case, vidya dadati vinayam. So, vidya means knowledge. Dadati means gives, that is a verb. This is the verb, dadati. Vinayam, vinayam means humbleness. Vidya dadati vinayam. The knowledge gives humbleness dadati means gives knowledge gives humbleness vinayat yati patratam yati also means obtains vinayat patratam vinayat means from uh, humbleness from that humbleness or because of that humbleness patratam means ability uh, one gets the ability, uh, ability to do something, he will become able. Patratva dhanam apnoti, because of that ability, patratva means because of that ability, apnoti means again obtains, what he obtains, dhanam, dhanam means wealth, dhanat dharmam, Dhanat means from that wealth. Dharmam means virtue or something goodness in the in the mind. Virtue. Dhanat dharmam apnoti will have to take from here only. It's a common uh, verb. Dhanat dharmam apnoti. From the wealth one would get the virtue. Tataha sukham. Again apnoti you have to keep here also. Tataha Sukham. Tataha means from that, because of that. Sukham means happiness. 
one gets. So what is the total meaning here? Vidya dadate vinayam. From the knowledge, uh, knowledge, sorry, knowledge gives the humbleness and because of the humbleness one would get the ability uh, or become good enough and because of because of that, because of that ability, he would obtain uh, wealth and from that wealth one would obtain the uh, virtue and because of that one would obtain the happiness. Very nice. Now regarding the familiarity of the words, uh, the words, sorry. So we we have gone through many many words like maybe more than hundred or so, even more than that. So you can go through them again and again, and also as we go go across go, go forward, we will look at different words also. Uh, and there is another book called Learn Sanskrit in 30 Days. Yeah. This is this is also a good one. I mean, there is a grammar to some extent, but you will get exposed to lot of lot of words in this. Learn Sanskrit in 30 days. Maybe and you can order, maybe you can get it online, or maybe some PDF may be available. Learn Sanskrit in 30 days. Yeah, it's good. It's quite good. A lot of words and a uh, lot of sentences and few simple um, conversations and um, stories and these quotes, Subhashitam. <coughs> moral passage. Hmm. That's what call it Subhashita. So they, they are all there. So it's a good book. Simple book. And try that also. Learn Sanskrit in thirty days. So you can look you can read those uh, new words, learn those new words from those books also. In, from that book also, that learn Sanskrit 30 days. <laughs> so, so far again, I, uh, last week we discussed, but I do not want to um, go fast unless if there is no understanding, proper understanding. I think there was some um, some learning curve last week when we introduced the Shasti Bhakti or the sixth case ending. So what is this ending? What is the sixth case? So so far what have, what have we studied? We have studied the different uh, words in Pullinga, Srilinga, Naponskalinga. Pullinga means masculine gender and Srilinga means new, uh, sorry, feminine gender. Naponskalinga means neuter gender. So we looked at many words in these different genders. Regarding the gender identification, is there any question? No, I think we sh should be good. So, how is the gender determined in Sanskrit? The uh, the gender is determined by the actual word, and it's not on the object. Yeah. The gender is for the word, not the object. In the Sanskrit language. The object may, might have its own gender, like the, all the animals have their own genders. So generally speaking, the words which refer to animals will have the same gender as the animals, the actual gender of the animals. For example, when we say simhaha, 
Simha means lion. Is uh, what we say. We, we saw uh, Kukuraha. Did we study Kukuraha, right? Yes, dog. Yeah. Oh, dog. Kukuraha. So that has the gender uh, male because the gender of the dog is male. But if it is a female dog, then this word will be different. Kukuri, like that. And for the goat, we have Ajaha. So Ajaha is a, Ajaha word is Pullingam, means it is a masculine word. And it is referring to a masculine goat, male goat. But for the female goat, the word will be different. Aja, we say Aja for the female goat. So this is generally true for the animals in the animal kingdom, including humans. The word, the lingam or the gender of the word is also the gender of the actual animal. Generally true. There are some exceptions where the gender of the animal may not be the gender of the actual word. But otherwise, other than the animals, the words uh, for the other objects, non-animals, they could be in any uh, any gender. It could be in any lingam. So what is the example we have seen? Uh, we have seen before. For the shelf or this one, for example, this one. What is this object? Karadipaha. Uh, Karadipaha. Karadipaha. What is the lingam? Masculine uh, pullingam. Pullingam. So though this is uh, doesn't have any life, it is Karadipaha. Is pullingam. Similarly, we have a shelf which is called. Nidhanika. Nidhanika yeah. hmm. And uh, hmm? Strilingam, no? Hmm. Strilingam. So we have seen that. Like this one, Kartari. So this is also Strilingam. Okay. So that is what we need to keep in mind. And we also studied the words like uh, question words like kaha coming back what is this hmm. we have studied the words like kaha for the question ka kim kim, kim. question and what are the other words we studied saha for this, sa. sorry, that, this is that, saha, sa, e tat, tat, tat. Hmm. for that, and eshaha, for this, eshaha, esa, uh, esha, e tat, e tat. So these are the words you have studied, so we can start forming the simple sentence. Kaha, kaha balakaha, kaha karadipaha, ka petika. If it is a thrilling the word, or the feminine word, we can use ka or sa, esha. And if it is a neuter word, we can use kim, tat, etat. So, additionally, we also seen atra, tatra, right? Mm -hmm. Atra means here, Tatra, there, Kutra, where. Yeah. We studied this. Atra, Tatra, Kutra. And we studied uh, one, only one uh, verb called Asti. Asti means is or exists. And nasti means na asti, 
nasti nasti here is a sandhi this is an example so example of sandhi what sandhi means happened here there are two words here nav and asti just for information na, na and asti together when we say it fast na nasti 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 so it becomes nasti so becomes like this there are two words in this na and asti together becomes a sandhi sandhi means joining of joining of letters joining of sounds is sandhi so nasti so asti means is na means not or no not is so asti and nasti using this simple asti i mean nasti is simple words we can practically form full sentence like what saha balakah asti right सह और सह सूर्य अस्ति सह सूर्य अस्ति व्हाट डज इट मीन सह सूर्य अस्ति सन इज दैट इज सन दैट इज सन एंड नोट दैट इन संस्कृत uh the order of the words is not that important most of the times some of the times it is important but most of the times it is not important because it is inflectional language the 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 prepositions which are used in the english language they are built into the word so that is why the relationship is obvious there between the words uh and while in the spoken language most of the times the order is like this uh the order what happens is the kriya padam or the verb is at the end and who is the verb is actually indicating the action right verb is the action word in the sentence so that is usually at the end and in the beginning there will be mm the pers- the the noun which is doing that action that is called as a subject in english uh, the subject word is in the beginning and the verb is at the end in sanskritam and the other words will fall in between that is the usual structure of a sentence in speaking while speaking that's usually but in writing and then the literature these are many times uh put different especially in the verses or the shlokas they are almost uh, not in order most of the times these are the simple uh, verbs we studied in the present tense in the sanskritam there are the verbs will get different tenses uh, different forms like basically mainly there are three tenses present tense past tense and future tense and there are additionally in addition to these tenses there are uh, different other forms also like imperative form or the wish to wish something so there are different forms which we can study them later so that this one is the present tense form of some some of the simple words so when uh, the first one is here what is shown with the picture here chalati is goes likhati is writes pashyati sees pathati reads hasati is laughs gachhati goes khadati uh, eats 
पिबाती ड्रिंक्स ड्रिंक्स तिष्ठति स्टैंड स्टैंड वहती फ्लो क्लोज धावती रन्स उपविशति सिट्स आगछति कमिंग कम हम्म कमिंग कम्स नयति इज कैरीज कैरीज नोट हियर दैट when we are use these forms are applicable to somebody else doing the work not myself or you doing the work so in english what happens the there are three persons right three persons of the verbs so first person second person third person so what is the first person in the first person we say i right i run or i read i go or we go that is the first person and second person is mm, you you go singular or plural and the third person is he goes or she goes it goes it reads it falls something it he she uh, or anybody else other than you or i they all fall into the third person category in english similarly in sanskrit also there are three persons so this what example we are seeing here these are all the third person examples uh so these forms are not used if i or you is doing the work if i am doing the work you are doing the work so these uh, forms are not used so we will look at them later but right now uh just note the these verbs uh for <coughs> the third person usage like he goes so what is the word for he in sanskritam saha hmm saha is the word for he so we can you and what is the word for she sa sa so we can use these words saha wherever there is a male and sa where there is a female so saha chalati means <coughs> he goes so asa we can use saha or esha saha or esha and sa or esha or you can use any feminine or masculine word like here we can say balakah chalati boy is going and here balika likhati sah aur sa pashati sa pathati sa hasati esha gachhati esha khadati and here suppose it is a doctor vaidyah pibati and purushah means man purushah tishthati and what is the word for horse um ashwa ashwa hmm ashwa dhavati ashwa hmm ashwa dhavati or you can also say saha because ashwa word is pullinga ashwa word is pullinga so you can say saha dhavati and esha upavishati balaka upavishati and sa balika agachati and sah or esha nayati and all right so anybody want to try okay, let's try this let's start with uh, giovanni what is this first person doing can you match one of these let's say chalati ha saha chalati saha chalati where is this here chalati okay. that one is over 
चलति ओके नेक्स्ट विवेकानंद महोदय एषा बालिका शिशिम कर किम नो आई एम यूजिंग द एषा एषा पठति 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 इट्स ओपन पठति और इफ शी यू कैन यूज दैट और शी इज राइटिंग सो राइटिंग वी हैव राइटिंग लिखती या सो हियर यू कैन सी लिखती लिखती so i will introduce another verb called let <coughs> write here mm, let me write it here this is very one verb we have seen asti which is very handy very useful which you can use like in many sentences like saha asti asti is very common right like we can say is similarly another called what is this one uh let's karoti hmm karoti karoti means does mm-hmm. so we can ask the question <coughs> in this case with the karoti we can ask the question right like uh, with asti we are we are asking the question saha kaha asti who is he एषः कः अस्ति एषा का अस्ति मीन्स हू इज शी वी आर यूजिंग अस्ति देर सिमिलरली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क द क्वेश्चन वाट इज ही डूइंग वाट और वाट इज शी डूइंग वाट इज इट डूइंग वी कैन आस्क द क्वेश्चन करोति सो फॉर ही यू हेव द सह सो सह किम करोति दट इज द क्वेश्चन और एषः किम करोति किम इज वाट सह किम करोति सो वी सहकिंग and we can instead of using balakah we mm-hmm. can use a name ramah kim karoti what is ram doing yes yes, yes. okay thank thanks mm-hmm. and you can use this karoti because words uh, words do not have gender in sanskritam so that makes it a bit easier right so we can use the same form with any gender like asti we used it with any gender saha sa सा अस्त करदीप अस्त वैद्या अस्त वैद्या का अस्त सो वर्ड्स डू नॉट चेंज विथ द जेंडर सो हियर ऑल्सो करोति डज नॉट चेंज विथ द जेंडर बट इट ओनली चेंजेस विथ दि नंबर एंड दि पर्सन सो फर्स्ट पर्सन सेकेंड पर्सन थर्ड पर्सन मीन हि यु सॉरी आय यु इट एंड नंबर सिंग्युलर ड्यूअल एंड प्लूरल so that is where it changes but there is it does not change verb doesn't have a gender so that makes it easier so we we can use this sah kim karoti sa kim karoti ram ha kim karoti balika kim karoti vaidya kim karoti jalam kim karoti nadi kim karoti so that becomes common okay so veena can for the third picture here Yeah. You can uh, ask the question first and then answer. Mali mahila kim karoti? Hmm. Mahila uh, janga maduravani. That's cell phone, right? Janga hmm. maduravani. That's cell hmm. phone. Uh, Pashyati. Hmm. Mahila. Um. pashyati so for now just uh, let's uh, yeah that jangamavana duravani you identify this good thing uh, but we will okay. see how, uh, 
how to use that form because it is not a subject, right? Jangama Duravani is not doing the seeing work here. Okay. The seeing work is done by Mahila. So Mahila, Mahila Pashya. is in the first case ending. So in the where is our declension table? So like this. Uh, Ramaha is first Prathama Ivakti, or that is first case ending, Ekavachanam singular. Like that, Mahila is also Prathama and Ekavachanam. So that this form, Prathama means uh, first case ending and Ekavachanam singular is used when it is a subject. So Jangamaduravani is also Prathama, but in that sentence it is not a subject. So that is fine, right so, now it is okay. Hmm. So, so we can say then Mahila, Kim Karoti. Yeah. And then we can say Mahila, Jang, uh, jang Janga Ma Duravani Karoti. No, no, Pashati. Karoti means it does, right? Okay, that's what I'm saying. But, but what you're saying is, if what? phone. Can we also use also Jala Duravani for her mobile phone? Jala Duravani, yeah. Jala. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Mahila, Jangamu Duravani. Let's keep it aside for now. Uh, but question. it's good to know the word. That's good. So Mahila Pashyati. That is the sentence. Yeah. I have a question. So, Mahila is um, uh, Akarana. What is the last name? Akarana. This Mahila is ending in A, yes. In A, yeah. And then it is Trilinga. Sorry? It, is it Trilinga? Yes, Trilinga, yeah. Mahila. So, the conjugation is still with Mahila. The yeah, Pratama. is Mahila, yes. Pratama, okay. Like Vaidya we see before. Yeah. Vaidya, Petika. Yeah. Similar to that, say Mahila also. Or Balika. You can say Balika also. Balika, Pashyati. Those are all their first case. Yeah. Um... Okay, next, uh, we don't have many people today, so, uh, Shiva, now you want to try the next one? <coughs> First, a question. Are you there? Sa karoti. Huh. Sa kim karoti. Hmm? Sa. Okay. Sa kim karoti. Kim means what? Kim means what, right? So sa means hmm. that girl, <coughs> that person. Yes. Kim means what? Karoti does. Hmm. Sa kim karoti. The answer would be Sa Patti. Hmm. Sa Patti. Good. Well, so Doesn't the game come to the at the end of the the question at the at the sentence? No. Here we are putting it in the middle. Sa okay. Kim Karoti. Sa Kim Karoti. So if you put the Kim at the end, then that might mean it's something different. So uh, we had seen it before, like Kim as just a question tag, right? Question mark. Yes. So that we had seen before, that like uh, uh, Sa Balika Asti Kim. So that means is she. Is she a girl? Sa Balika asti Kim. So if Kim is at the end, it acts like a question tag, question mark. But now here we are putting it in the middle. This is also a question, but here the question is different. 
So if we put at the end, so let's see how it sounds. Sa karoti kim. That also means, that also correct it. It also could mean, what is she doing? Sa karoti kim. But it depends on the tone or the, what intention of the person who is asking the question. Sa karoti kim. If it, ask, if it is the tone is like that, that what would it would mean is, is she doing? Is she doing? Means, is she doing something? So that's what it might mean. But if you put it in the middle, then it's a word. Yeah, it's a word. Mm-hmm. It's a word. It is not a question tag. Sa kim karoti means what is she doing? Here the kim uh, is used as a what, you know, not as a question tag. What? Sa kim karoti. Sa, you know. So, so what is she doing? What is this? Uh, yeah, yeah, Shivan, Shiva, can you do this uh, also? Sa hasati. Yeah, sa hasati. So, in place of sa, can you use some other word for female? Uh, you could say sita, sita hasati yeah. or balik, balika. Yes, yes. Sita hasati, balika hasati. Correct. <coughs> Alright. Anybody else want to try on the phone who have not tried so far? No? Okay. Going back to the Sure. This one? Um, Question? Saha, yeah. Hmm. Saha Kim Karoti. Hmm. Saha Gatshati. Hmm. I can do the next one also. Yeah. Uh, Purushaha Kim Karoti. Hmm. Purusha Kadati. Yeah. You can also, if you remember, oh, sorry, hmm. there is my arrow. Hmm. <coughs> if you remember, what? last week's question yeah so there were many words here you can if you remember you can use one of these no problem if you don't you can just use balik balaka balika yashaha kurushaha or if you can remember any of these masculine words you can use okay <coughs> Okay. Yeah, Giovanni, what is the next one? Yeah, I was trying to find the yeah the, the slide with the, with the words. To me, it's uh, quite difficult to remember. Here it is. Ah, yeah. So one or, to one remember or two word, to remember words. Yes, not one or two you can remember. For example, the putraha, like putraha, the common word. This krushaka farmer may be difficult. Vaidya we already seen, right? Vaidya is doctor. Yes. Mm. And putra we generally want to use it like in the everyday conversation. Like putra is like son. And janakaha. Oh, janakaha too. Mm. Yeah. I was trying to use this one. Maybe also. nartakaha is also rememberable. Mm. And what are the other <coughs> words? Like uh, huh. the other common words are like sevakaha, servant. Adhyapakaha. Mm teacher, chalakaha, driver, lekhakaha, author, then what else, you? gayakaha, singer, okay. nayakaha, leader, pachakaha, cook, and chatraha, this is also common, chatraha. These are like some simple words. <coughs> <coughs> so where are we here? So, this yeah. one. so mm. we can say uh, Janakaha Kim Karoti, mm. Janakaha Pibati. Mm. Okay, the name. Now this one. 
Uh, it's me still. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, trying to get okay, ready for God the world. Let's see. Uh, well, let's say Putraha. So, Putraha Kim Karoti. Mm. Putraha Tishtati. Good. Okay. Next, uh, Vivekananda. Uh, Samundraha Kim Karoti. Samundraha Vahati. Kim, Kim Karoti? What is the first word? Uh, Samundraha. Samundra. Uh, see. Hmm. Samudra Hakim Karoti, Samudra Vahati. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This one. Uh, Ashwaha Kim Karoti, Ashwaha Dhavati. Okay. Then the other. We now. Next one. Um, Putraha Kim Karoti, hmm. Putraha. You can you can try to use one of these like any word. Okay. Shiva, are you there? Oh, sorry, my mic my mic was no. off. Um, yeah, okay, so I will say, um, pick any one word and then just complete the sentence. Apanika, huh? Yeah, Apanika, huh? Kim Karoti? Yes. Apanika, uh, sorry, sorry. Was t I forgot sorry. The, sorry. the verb. This is the, okay. yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Apanika Nayati. Yeah. Apanika Nayati. What is Apanika means? Um, Shopkeeper. Yeah. Apanika Nayati. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, go through these words again. Um, so you can one one of you starting with Jiyavan, you can uh, cover the first column. Uh, what uh, what what should I just, do? Just re read through this uh, words. Ah, just read them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, kaha Saini kaha Apanikaha Grahakaha I'm trying not to read the, the transliteration Vaidyaha Chitrakaraha Chitrakaraha Baravahaha. It's like this. Right? Yeah. Baravahaha. Ba Baravahaha. And uh, Divaraha. Yeah, Divaraha. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Vivekananda. Vivekananda Mode, are you there? Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I'm, uh, I'm reading away in my uh, Putraha 
जनक पिताम माताम सोदार पिता मतूल नर्तक सेपरेटली पितृव्य पितृव्य गोपाल गोपाल अध्यापक निर्देशक निर्देशक Yeah. Mm-hmm. You remember the top to bottom in when Devanagari mm-hmm. uh, script top to bottom, like right? in uh, when we say like like this. So going from top to bottom, this has to be pronounced first. Mm-hmm. So this uh, hook on the top is what is that? That is the r r half r. Then we have to pronounce the the consonant at the bottom which is the and then the vowel added to it this is the vowel symbol this one this is a symbol mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so if it is like this suppose if you write like like this okay. so what what is the order here mm-hmm. top to bottom yeah. again mm. vertically top to bottom this first r and this The and then the vowel added to it the vertical line is a right a ah, like this so da okay shiv it's your turn the last column i r r chaka ha yeah व्याद्रतवी प्रत 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 वि प्रत 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 वि 
patra patra then what is the third one v v hmm. v ta ta hmm. raha no what is the last one patavi patravi tara and after the after the ka ha yeah ka hmm. pratavi tarakaha yes yeah and gayakaha yeah puro purohita hmm nayakaha hmm pacha pachakaha hmm chattaha this is what cha 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 chaha yeah student okay wait uh and in the last class we also started looking at the sixth case ending which is this here sixth case singular shasti shasti means sixth case ending ek vachanam is singular so this uh, for the pulling words or the uh, masculine words the form will be like this rama if it is prathama it is ramaha it will be in chasti sixth case and it will be ramasya so that is what is shown here so first case ending is ramaha so when when is the first case ending used in a sentence so pathati suppose there is a pathati pathati means what reads right reads <clears throat> so first case ending is used present tense ah uh, this is present tense but the first case ending for when is the subject yes when uh, noun is used when that word is a subject or the one which is performing that action so ramah pathati or balika pathati like that we use but this in the pulling the form will be ramah balakah kandukah etc um so that pulling us that uh, masculine gender in sixth case ending it becomes ramasya so we just remove this visarga which is the is last two dots and add the sya so this is what sya we add sya to it it becomes ramasya so what is the sixth case ending when it is used first case is first case ending is used when it is a subject word but sixth case ending is used when uh, hmm when it oh. of of uh, like pustakam yeah. of rama ramasya pustakam yeah ramasya means of rama or ramas something belonging to rama we use uh, the shashti vakti or the sixth case in ramasya so when we say balakasya what does that mean balakasya of the boy of the boy then we can use any other word in the first case ending in prathama vakti whatever is belonging to this balaka or the boy we can use that word in the first case ending prathama vibhakti so this is balakasya shashti now example is balakasya pustakam mm-hmm. pustakam you know so what is pustakam means book book kanduka balak ha balakasya pustakam balakasya kandukah and balakasya upanetram 
Palam. Hmm, palam. Anything we can use. Balakasya Upanetram. So this was the uh, homework, like right, last week. Yes, but I think I did my homework. Yeah, I, I sent mine very late last night on WhatsApp to you. Yeah, I, I didn't get the time, opportunity to see it and look at it today. Uh, good, and I found it a bit confusing um, uh, for the homework, though. Like, um, I don't know, when you check, you'll see. It was a bit confusing for me, especially um, for words like um, vessel and all that. Let me see if I can bring it right now on the screen here. Okay, you can just check it and then let me know. No, it will be good to have a discussion. <coughs> can, can you see? So bad. Okay. Sasyam Sasyasya Falam. This is what she added. Mitram Mitrasya Mahapika. So can can anybody uh, others uh, verify whether this how what do you think is is it correct? Sasya Falam. Vekananda. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Mitrasya Mahapika. Mm, yes, Mitrasya, yeah, yeah. Mitram is uh, Mitrasya. Mapika yam yeah. Mop. Yeah. Yanam uh is that a, is that ka? Katayanam. I'm not sure what that word is. Katayanasya. Uh is that window. Vatayanam is window. Katayam is not window. Vatayanam is window. Yeah, yeah, I mean this should be wa. This is uh, this is yeah, this is ka. This should be wa. Okay. Hmm. Vatayanam window, correct. Hmm. So it will be Vatanasya uh, Javanikam, Javanika. That Javanika. is the curtain of, yeah, uh, curtain of the um, of the window. Yes, yes. And is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, with, hmm. Shall I continue? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, vimanam. Vimanasya Dwaram. That's the do door of the a airplane or the aircraft. Yes, good. This is good. Dwaram. Viham, <laughs> Vihasya, Deepaha. Uh, uh, the, the light of the house. Yes. Pustakam, Pustakam, uh, uh, Putasya, Pustakasya Chitra. That is uh, the. Uh, Chitra is picture, I take it there. The yeah. picture of the book, a picture of the book. Yes, good. So, yeah. Just, just to note here, 
sorry, Sanjeevji. At one point, I, I started getting confused about, um, so it has to be of the, I don't know where in, in there, but at one point I started being confused about the word that I'm using for the of, of who. Mm -hmm. Of who? Yeah, you know, at one point I started feeling confused about that. But uh, go ahead, I, uh, I see where the mistake came. Yeah, you, you have the word uh, Pustakasya, Chitra. Now, Chitra is not a word. Are you going to have Chitraha or Chitram? Chitram is a word, so the Mahalantama is missing. Okay. That's fine. Chitra is a root word, so the root mm -hmm. word cannot be used in a sentence. That's what, and that's fine. And the, so, Chitram, you can use Chitram because it is a neuter word, uh, neuter gender. Chitram. Mm. Okay. Next one, Giovanni, want to help? Yes. Next uh, sentence. Yeah, yeah, and I'm right. This yeah. one, yeah. So, Yanasya Varnaha. Mm. These sentences are very good, uh, Veena. I mean, these, these are well formed. Yanasya Varnaha. The relationship. I just uh, don't remember the meaning of Yana. Yanam. Can't remember now. Yanam is vehicle. Ah, yes, of course. Yeah. 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 Yanam. Yanasya Varnaha. Varnaha is color. Hmm. Then we have uh, Dinam. Hmm. Dinasya Parva. Yeah, I think here I started getting confused. It should be probably parva, huh? right? No, parva, parva is correct. Parva is the right word. Huh. Because it no. is a special, it has a different root word. So, parva is the correct word here. Yeah, hmm. I wasn't sure what word to use with the, with the um, hmm. uh, dinam. Because hmm. at no. one point I was thinking, okay, shubha dinam, then that won't be right. Right, because Subhadinam. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think you found this parva somewhere. Yeah, so I, I parva is not a, a normal uh, word in uh, in a like um, like the ones that we have studied. No, it is not like what we have studied so far, like huh. Rama. Huh. So this yeah, I look for it on the uh, dictionary. Yeah. So, so this is a usable word. Final. This has a. This is this is in the first declension here. So this is the tatmai bhakti, parva. Uh, however, but you can use other words like, for example, you can use any word. Uh, you know, like you can use dinasya surya. No, no problem. Dinasya surya. Yeah, the today's today's sun. No, anything. Day's sun. Yeah. Like say, if I was using uh, birthday, that would be not good, right? Sorry? Like birthday, birthday. Shubhadinam, no? Like, like. Mm -hmm. But that yeah. wouldn't work here. Shubham uh, is not appropriate, right? Like in this. Dinasya yeah. yeah. Shubham won't work. Like Dinasya. Yeah, technically you can say that. Dinasya Shubham. Dinasya Shubham means goodness of today. That, that's okay. fine, okay. But we don't find such sentences usually. So, dinasya uh, surya, dinasya deepaha, or dinasya uh, pathaha. Patha means lesson. Okay, yeah, I was finding this. Okay, next one. Dugdham, so dugdasya. Mm. Chashakaha. Yeah. Good. This is good. Don't just say Chashakaha. Glass. Mm. And? Lavanam. So, Lavanasya. Chamasaha. Mm. Lavanasya Chamasaha. Chamasa, everyone knows. Chamasa is spoon, right? That is spoon. Yeah, and lavanam is mm. salt. Salt. Mm. 
Ahusya uh, mm-hmm. uh, Sanjeevji, so la, Lavanasya means of salt, mm. right? Yes. Of salt. Yes. And a spoon. I think probably the English was speaking, and so I was thinking like spoon of salt, and then I was thinking so the spoon should be the as, asya should be the asya should be on the spoon, not on the salt. So I started like mingling probably there. No, no, this is correct. Yes. Lavanasya chamasaha. If you do chamasasya lavanam, then uh, it is off the spoon. The, uh, the meaning will be different. Chamasasya lavanam means the, the salt of the spoon. <laughs> mm. okay. okay, the next one. Patram, patrasya. Uh, bo bo bojanam yeah patrasya bojanam yeah patrasya bojanam good mm. uh, next uh, patram patrasya lipi mm. right lipihi mm. lipihi patrasya lipihi patrasya lipihi mm. Patrasya Lipihi. Lipihi means writing. Script. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, good. Patrasya Lipihi. Okay. Hmm. Next. Hmm. Chatram Chatrasya Akara. Akara, huh? Maybe. Hmm. Chitram. 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 Yes, no, chatram. Hmm. Chitram. Chitrasya Akara. Hmm. So, Vani, uh, sorry, Vina, what is the chit- Akara? Size. Size. Hmm? I wanted to say size. the size of the picture. Akashaha. Is it Akaraha or Akashaha? No, she has used a new word. Akaraha means the shape. Hmm. Size. Okay. It was size on the dictionary. Size or shape. Hmm. Hmm. Chitrasya Akara is a dictionary word. Open dictionary, it's fine. Yeah. Mm. Then, Vanam. Vanam Vanasya Simaha. Yeah. Good. Simaha. Ha. Simaha. Ha. Yeah. Simaha. Lion. Vanasya Simaha. Lion of the forest. Of the forest. Good, this is good, this is great. I, I have the other three here, so I'll read it. So, Jalam, hmm. Jalasya, Matsya. So, I Mat- should say Matsyaha. Yes. Hmm. Mat- Matsyaha, okay, sorry about that. Then, the other one was Bhavasya. Jalasya, Matsyaha. Hmm. Yeah, then bha- Bhavanam. Bhavanam, uh, what did I put? Dwaram. Dwaram. Hmm? Bhavanam, Dwaram. Well, the, the word was not the, this one, these are the words, right? Yeah. No, Jalam, Bhavanam. Yeah. Bhavanam. Bhavanam. Bhavanasya Dwaram. Hmm? Bhavanasya, yeah, Bhavanasya Dwaram, yeah. I okay. wrote that. Hmm. Then, the other one was na na ka na kham na hmm. na kham and then i had put the varna hai again hmm. na kasya varna ha na kasya varna ha yeah that's hmm. what i was kasya varna ha yeah. varna is the color color of the india nail nail na kham na kham so good so i think uh, can stop here, but uh, words uh, like uh, get in more and more familiar with the words, and uh, that other the couple of uh, books I we talked about they more focus on the grammar. Mm-hmm. But if you are just interested in the words, I would recommend this Learn Sanskrit in 30 days. Uh, this is a really good one, yeah, I was checking like it a simple one. So mm-hmm. you can take that, and in <coughs> as we go forward and learning these words. Uh, the Sanskrit 
as Vivekananda was saying that Sanskrit language, the origin etymology of the word is uh, interesting, very interesting actually. And the, actually all the words, the language itself is built based on the etymology. And this etymology is preserved intact even today. It's not like uh, if you look at some English word like chair or something, then you'll have to the, if you look at the etymology, it might go to, go into like some other language like Latin, Greek, or French, or some German, anything. So even Sanskrit also has many words. But in Sanskrit language, this etymology is very fresh and and it's very alive. And it's kept intact. So all these words, we see them as like plant and friend and window and plane. So when we generally uh, learn new language, we just uh, learn these languages by uh, usage. Uh, but in Sanskritam, usage is also there. We can use them. But as we, uh, if you look at the etymology, then it becomes very interesting and uh, actually it makes it easy to use them. Because when we understand why yanam is called yanam, why dinam is called dinam, it becomes very interesting and very uh, we can remember that easily. Mm -hmm. And this is the beauty and the speciality of the Sanskritam language. Right? So, we can stop here today, I think. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank, th thank you very much, Sanjeevji. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody asking some questions? Let me stop.